everyone. I'm Gigi. Welcome back to Gigi's Magic Mailbox. Did you hear that sound? That means something's just arrived in the Magic Mailbox. Let's see what it is. Gigi opens the Magic Mailbox. Orange fireworks burst. Too many carrots. Oh, this is a great story to read right around Easter time. If you have your own copy, go grab it and you can read along. All right. Let's get started. Too Many Carrots, written and illustrated by Katie Hudson. Rabbit loved carrots. He collected them wherever he went. Rabbit's in a garden. Rabbit was proud of his collection and burrowed it away in his cozy hole. But Rabbit had a problem, a big problem. He couldn't sleep. His cozy hole was too crowded to live in. Carrots fill his burrow. You know what that means. Something has just arrived in the magic mailbox. Let's see what it is. Orange fireworks explode. Gigi reaches inside. <laughs> a carrot. Wow, Rabbit has a lot of carrots, doesn't he? He sure loves them. I like carrots too, do you? I like to eat them raw, and I like to eat them cooked, and especially with pot roast, that's really good too. Well, I don't know what Rabbit's going to do with all of those carrots and what he's going to do about where he's going to live, do you? Let's find out. I need a place to sleep, Rabbit told Tortoise. You could share my house, Tortoise offered. It looks cozy and snug, Rabbit said. Maybe it's a little too snug for two, suggested Tortoise. Not at all, said Rabbit. He squeezes inside. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Ouch. Ah! <laughs> Crash. They roll down a hill. Did you hear that? You know what that means. Orange fireworks sparkle. Oh, look. A bear in a cave. Do you think Rabbit would like to live in a cave? I don't know. It might be too dark and scary. Well, let's see where else Rabbit can live. Oh dear. Well, perhaps we can stay in Bird's Nest, said Rabbit. My nest is quite small, Rabbit, said Bird. I'm sure we will all fit, replied Rabbit. Rabbit hauled all his carrots up the tree. Whoa, groaned Tortoise and Bird as the branch wobbled and swayed and snapped. Rabbit, Tortoise, and Bird fall. There's our favorite sound. Let's see what's in the magic mailbox. Orange fireworks explode. Ah, uh, a mole hole. Now, do you think Rabbit would like to live there with the moles? I don't know. It'd be a tight squeeze getting through those tunnels, wouldn't it? Well, let's see who else Rabbit can live with. Crash! I'm so sorry, Bird. Now three of us don't have a place to sleep, said Rabbit. You can sleep in my house, offered Squirrel. Oh, thank you, Squirrel. How kind of you, said Rabbit. I don't think any more carrots will fit, Rabbit, said Squirrel. Just a few more, Rabbit replied. Uh-oh, whimpered Tortoise, Bird, and Squirrel. Creak, crack, crash. Rabbit's carrots break Squirrel's tree trunk. Did you hear that? You know what that means. More orange fireworks explode. Oh, a beehive. Do you think Rabbit could live in a beehive? With all those bees? I don't know. I think I'd be afraid of getting stung, wouldn't you? Well, let's see what else happens in the story. Now four of us don't have anywhere to sleep, grumbled Squirrel. You can sleep in my house, called Beaver. It has plenty of space. Great! I can bring even more carrots, Rabbit said with a smile. He stuffs Beaver's house. But with all your carrots, we can't fit inside, said Beaver, a bit bewildered. Just then, the rain started. Tortoise shivered. Bird whimpered. 
squirrel squeaked, and Beaver heard a terrible rumble as his house collapsed. Oh no, my house, yelled Beaver. Oh no, my carrots, cried Rabbit. Ah! They float down a stream. Crash! The friends groaned as they swept up onto the riverbank. Let's see what the magic mailbox brought us. Orange fireworks sparkle. Aww. It's a picture of a dollhouse that Gigi and Pop built for one of our granddaughters. Do you think maybe Rabbit and his friends could live there? I don't know if it can hold all those carrots that Rabbit has, do you? Well, let's see what poor Rabbit's going to do now. Rabbit and his friends walk in the rain. Rabbit felt terrible. His friends were cold, tired, and homeless. And it was all his fault. Even worse... Rabbit still had all of his carrots and his house. And that's when he realized there was only one thing to do. Share everything with his friends. After all, carrots weren't for collecting. They were for sharing. They have a carrot party. And sharing made everything better. They sleep in Rabbit's burrow. The end. Thank you for joining me today to read Too Many Carrots. That was fun. I hope you had fun too. That rabbit learned a lesson, didn't he? He just kept piling up and piling up those carrots and he didn't have any place to stay and neither did his friends. I'm glad he learned the answer was sharing. Well, thanks again for joining me. If you haven't already, make sure to hit subscribe. Have a great day and see you soon. Thanks for watching Gigi's Magic Mailbox. Magic Mailbox sound effect by zapsplat.com. See you soon. Accessibility provided by the U.S. Department of Education.